a lot of Facebook comments on your reactions to the video and seeing it is amazing for yeah. all of us who've covered their stories from the beginning. It's really amazing to see and that includes our colleague Leon Bibb who joins us now with his perspective. I covered the story on day number one of Amanda Berry's missing in 2003 when she, Gina DeJesus and Michelle Knight were found 3,671 days had passed. Throughout all those days, there were images of the women on television, in newspapers, on city street posters, in police stations. Today brought new images on a story which has unfolded before our eyes. When they came home that day, Cleveland and the world tuned in, catching only fleeting looks at the women for whom we had prayed. They had escaped a horrible captivity of 10 years and more. Since their escape, our views of them have only been of that day they went home. We had not heard their voices until last midnight when video of them was released. I want to thank everyone who has helped me and my family through this entire ordeal. If you could say something to each and every person out there who contributed money to your fund to help you, what would you say to them? I would say thank you for the support. I'm looking forward to my brand new life. Thank you. So now come new images to be filed in our personal and collective memory banks. Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight looked well, but we know they still carry horrible pictures in their minds of their 10 years of horror. I have covered stories of their disappearance since this tearful saga began a decade ago. As I watched the women speak into the camera today, my mind raced back nine years to the picture of Amanda Berry's mother, Luana Miller, speaking tearfully of her missing daughter. It's getting harder because after so long, you know, you don't, you want to believe that she's going to come home, but then again, there's no leads, there's no clues. Luana Miller died in 2006, heartbroken, never living to learn of her daughter's whereabouts or see her sprint to freedom with the two other women. She did not live to see the pictures released today. So we add new pictures to our memory banks today. They are the newest in a line which began on television screens announcing missing women. Ten years later came images from Seymour Avenue where the three women were held. Days later, emotional images of the women's return to family. News always looks for pictures and sounds of voices. This morning came new and fresh images and voices too. And so we savor them. So add them to the pictures, an old thought we will bring. Home is where the heart is. It means home really is the place you long to be. Home again, the most important picture. For Live on 5, that's my perspective. I'm Leon Bibb.